Let's denote the given limit by L. Now dividing both the numerator and the denominator in the expression under the summation by N, the denominator can be written as square root of R square upon N square plus 1, which is equal to square root of 1 plus R upon N whole square. The value of L is therefore equal to limit N tending to infinity, 1 upon N times summation R going from 1 to 2N, R upon N divided by square root of 1 plus R upon N whole square. This is a Riemann sum, replacing 1 upon n with dx and r upon n with x. This can be written as integral 0 to 2 x dx divided by square root of 1 plus x square. Now note that derivative of square root of 1 plus x square is equal to 1 upon 2 times square root of 1 plus x square times the derivative of 1 plus x square which is 2x. The two cancels and this is equal to x upon square root of 1 plus x square. Therefore, the integral of x upon square root of 1 plus x square is equal to square root of 1 plus x square plus the constant of integration. Using this result in the expression for L above, L is equal to square root of 1 plus x square where x varies between the limits 0 and 2. This is equal to square root of 1 plus 4 minus square root of 1 plus 0 which is equal to square root of 5 minus 1, which is the required answer.